You looking for me? Follow the drip, they follow the drip, they slip and fall. You give them a sip, they beg for more. I pick up my Bible, I'm ready for war. We in America looking for more. I knock once or twice, then I'm kicking the door. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, New Aramar, back again with another video for y'all. Today, we about to react to this new Roddy Rich, Please Excuse Me for Being Anti-Social album. That is a long title, but I get it. If I get it, whatever. Um, how I feel about Roddy Rich, man. I rock with Roddy heavy. I, honestly, I don't think I heard a bad song by him yet. It's some songs that I don't really go back to much, but he got dope songs. Like the quality of his music is really dope. I think he's he has a unique voice, a unique sound. Feed the Streets 2 was like one of my favorite projects last year. Um, I thought that joint was solid top to bottom. He had a song earlier this year with uh, Nipsey Hussle 2. Um, what's the name of that joint? Racks in the Middle. That joint was hard. I rock with that. That's one of my favorite songs this year, too. Um, I listen to that a lot. I think anytime I hear him on a hook, he sounds amazing. He had a song on DJ Mustard's album, Matt. Uh, it's called Ballin'. Everybody know that song. Like, everybody know that. It, it's a hit. It's It's, it's catchy. Yeah, I can't stop listening to it. It's he just got that certain sound that is like, yo, I gotta hear that again. Like the melodies get stuck in your head. So that's what I expect with this album. I, I don't expect nothing different. I think this is his first, is this his debut album? I think the other joints are just mixtapes, but I don't know. But I'm ready to hear what this sound like. So I hear nothing but positive things about it. I heard every song on here slaps from top to bottom. That's what people are saying. It better be true. It better be true, because they done got me hyped and a little amped up to hear this. So, I'm ready to hear it. Let's go. Track number one, intro. My big bro behind bars, fighting 200 years. I got the call, I lost my dog, I don't know how to feel. Gotta stay on savage time, you know it's war time. Yeah, I been counting up the bag, yeah, yeah. I get to load a bag, I'm fucking up years. Let's go get the birdie, birdie, nigga, I need some hands. Put my dick inside her mouth like it's Chris toothpaste. Yeah, she gave me head like a toothpaste. Got 20 hoes, they are my roommate. It kind of remind me of uh, when Meek Mill, you know, Meek Mill's famous intro, the Dreams and Nightmares intro, how the beat start off with just like a piano medley for a little while, and then the beat comes in halfway through the song. It's so many people that did it. T Grizzly, first day out. JT's first day out. Everybody's first day out. I don't, it, it's all the same thing. It was very predictable. I knew that was coming. He has some predictable bars though. Like I put it in her mouth like Crest toothpaste. She give me here like toupee. Oh my God. So many people use that bar. I didn't see that coming, but it's a I. Right, it's a I right song. So it's cool. It's just an intro. Track number two, The Box. Playing out the coupe at the lot. Told the folks 12 folks swat. Busting out the bells out the box. I just hit the lid with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Gunna and Young Thug hot. That's what it remind me of. It, it's, it's like that similar triumphant celebration type of sound horn playing in the background. Um, kind of like the same speed, maybe a little bit, a little bit faster, but I rock with it though. It's hard. Track number three is Start With Me featuring Gunna. I already heard this song. Don't really feel like hearing it again, but it's a good song. I like this song. It's, it's dope. Track number four is Perfect Time. Peanut butter seeds can't perfect time. Reach, but I'm still duck in one time. I seen the light and I climbed in. Had to take them out. We ain't gonna die in. We just about culling in just to maintain. I talked to my brother near me on the same day. We just trying to motivate. by the AB show the face. Feel like I'm a Zoe today. Feel like I'm a Woe today. It's all right. It, it. It's not all that, but it's cool. I think he sound like Young Thug on some of them parts. He kind of, he definitely remind me of Thug. Like, Thug even switched his voice like that on some of his songs. Like, one minute he's singing in a whiny voice. The next minute he's like, yeah, and I got the truth. Like, with the real deep voice, then he go back to, like, crooning a little bit. It, like, it's creative. It's dope. But, like, the beat wasn't that hard, for real. Like, it didn't really catch me. But it's 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 cool. It's not bad. It's cool. Track number five, Moonwalking, featuring Lil Dirt. Track like Michael Jackson, Moonwalking. Smooth criminal, smooth, smooth talking, 
gym. I put some ice on top of just to cool off. I got tennis like Serena. I throw twenty thousand in your jeans for a rainy day. How about the Mercedes? Yeah. He lay down like a lazy day. I got cake like a eighty day. The times like Jake Jables. She and Chanel, I put in the bed. She come right out of that can of coke. And I need racks just like <laughs> Venus. Niggas claim a title with a day, but that don't mean shit. It's decent. It's decent. Um, I think it's something to ride around and cruise to. It's chill. But Dirk, I, I like Dirk's verse the best. I, I think he, uh, I don't know. I've been listening to Dirk a lot this year. He's one of my favorite artists this year. He almost don't do no wrong at this point. He just, I don't know. He just flowed on it perfect. They both sound good together. They both sound good together. But like something about what Dirk was saying, it was just a little more entertaining. It was just funny though. But like, it's, it's a cool track though. I'm not mad at it. Track number six, Big Stepper. Murder, 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 keep my slugs, my nigga. I was taught to never show no love, my nigga. Papa Zan next. I ain't never had no feeling. What I got playing next. Gotta put the stars in the center. I'm so cold hearted, I can't show no love, nigga. But I fuck that bitch to party next door, Persian rugs, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> it was 50,000 total. Facts. Facts. Spandex. The honey that made me a million, I got it laminated. Can't fuck with none of these broke niggas, they contaminated. Thank God for all of these blue faces, I barely even made it. I think he put this out as a single, too. This John Hard. This might be my favorite on the project so far. I'm not going to lie. That John, he's vibing on that John. He's flowing. He said he smashed it on the party next door Persian rugs. Come on. Come on. He he knows the vibes. He might have my playlist somewhere in his arsenal. You know what I mean? He pulling that out. Like, it's, I, I don't know why I just thought of this, but like, I was thinking about Rax in the middle and my, like my favorite part of the song was when he was like, mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I I remember saying it all summer. Like, anytime something would happen, somebody would be like, yo, I was watching one of your videos. You you really like that song? Like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if I really agreed, I'd be, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yo, that was so catchy to me. Yo, like, I don't even know why he thought of that. Like, when you go in the studio, what make you think? Like, yo, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got that little coupe right around my neck. Mm -mm. Like that nigga believe what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> yo, that's hilarious to me. All right, track number seven, God's Eyes. He thought the money make you happy, it don't make you different. I start to see that shit myself when I got a couple million. Bro, through the mud, I can't lie, seen too much. I gotta grab dope. <laughs> Brand new white, white rolls racing, that bitch match a toes. I was out fucking, I ain't have a choice, I ain't even got no clothes. I put my wrist inside the freezer, watch the that record is decent. It's decent. I think it's going to hit me, like, different when I'm, like, just riding around. Like, I'm definitely playing this album in the whip. So, like, I think some of these songs is going to hit me crazy. But, like, I rock with it, though. I rock with this song. It reminds me of something Lil Dirk would be on. Like, they got a similar style. He's another one that, like, they in the same category. Like, they spit, like, real stuff for the streets. But, like, it's with a melody, though. It's, it's hard, though. But I like it. I rock with it. Track number eight, Peter. Featuring Meek Mill. I get a bag to double it. All of that talking ain't that enough. These niggas calling the peace tree. Bitch, I've been turning the static up. Nigga, I'm turning the savage up. When I was bending the block with the lasers out, they thought it was Christmas. Up the block and knock his braces out. We caught him slipping. Mm. We was working at that vacant house. God forgive me. Fuck it, I'm flying in the paddock up. Fucking that bitch like I'm mad at her. I never play with that pussy. I get some hitters with racks up. All of them killers don't push me. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. That's a banger right there. Both of them had solid verses. Meek, Meek killed that joint. He killed that. That's hard. I ride with it. Track number nine, Boom Boom Room. Boom Boom Room. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mmm. Bought a big petty with a brand new wrist set it. Mmm. Put up on let me laugh, but that's what must have betted on the photo tent. I ain't remember when and when I'm gonna eat. Pull up that Billy, we no key. I've been on top for a while. I don't ever mean that contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Mud. See me no mud. That's a banger. Banger. That might be my that's that's my favorite on here so far now. This joint is so perfect. First of all, it flows perfect. First of all, I wish Gunner would have been on this. I wish Gunner would have been on this. Like Gunner would have killed this. That, that it sounded like it was made for Gunner, the beat and everything. This song is perfect. It's going to flow 
with like Gunners, Yao Ming, Travis Scott, Yosemite. It's gonna flow with that. Um, it's another joint. Oh, um, it's another song by Don Tolliver. He would have sound good on this too. Don Tolliver got a song. I can't think of the name of that joint. It would have flow. It's gonna flow perfect with this. I'm putting it in a mix. I already know how I'm about to mix it up. Add that to the playlist. Hold on, let me put that on the side. I gotta make a whole new playlist just for this song. I already know how I'ma use it. Track number 10, Elise's skit. I listened to that song falling in your car by uh, I guess it's DJ Mustard and Roddy Rich. Cause if I did, I cannot get that damn song out my head. Facts! Balling got stuck in my head. She said exactly how I felt. Cause at first I didn't really like the song. Off a of first listen, I was like, it's it's cool. But then like like I just found myself like saying different lines from this song, like in a bit leaving Tay God. Like you just you just, you can't not do it every once in a while. Yo, this nigga catchy, yo. I can't even lie. I feel that lady. I feel her. <laughs> I feel her 100 percent That's how I was with the song too. Track number eleven, high fashion, featuring mustard. Can they do it again? I gotta keep my shorty on go go. Cut that ass to the flow, bro. They did it again. Ain't this a bottom? Sometimes, you know, it'd be a little disappointing when you be expecting like two people who made a banger once that, you know, they tried again and it don't be the same. Nah, it's the same. It hit the same. And I know it off of first listen this time, though. This is catchy. Not only is it catchy, but the, the instrumental is beautiful. Like, you just got to chill. You got to vibe with it. You can't. How you going to get an attitude when this come on? That's beautiful. And he, he's flowing on it perfectly with flows I could never even think of. That Yeah, they got another one. That's hard. Track number 12, Backseat, featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Now, Ty? Ty might have killed that last track, too. So, let's see. I hope Mustard do this beat, too. Hold up. I got to drape you up. She got baby just naked with us. I got diamonds going to drip on the pussy. Keep them in the cut. I keep a bad for her. She know that she coming, of course. Stop on the front seat. We go for an hour. Then we go move to the back seat. When you give me a lap dance, baby, bye for the cat. Yo, this is random, but I think my favorite part of the song is the background of Wally, Wally, Wally. <laughs> Yo, I think that's Roddy better doing that. That's hilarious, but it, it's getting stuck in my head already. That it, it stands, it's standing out to me. Like, like I'm listening to that part, waiting for it the whole song. Like I'm like, yo, keep doing that, John. Like I don't know why. That, it just I just caught that little piece. Yeah, this is hard. That's another banger right there. I like, like I said, like the background, like the little ad libs was real catchy to me. Like I rock with them, but like it's a, it's a smooth song. It, it flows perfect with the high fashion joint. It come right after it. It's kind of perfect. Like I rock with that tie. Sound good on it. I like how he said, I'm, man, I'm a sex symbol. I, you, sometimes you just feel like that. You just feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you leave the house, you just feel good. Especially when a girl be all up on you or something. Like, so, I don't know. Some of y'all probably don't even know what that's about. Anyway, chart number 13, Roll Dice. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I ride with it. Track number 14, Prayers to the Trap God. Heart beat of my mind racing up. You can hear the screams and sirens in the cut. I did trap See a cut crawling on the floor. Trying to get the dope. Flush it down the toilet for they give me with the vote. 
They did it all sweet. Couldn't even go to sleep. Embrace it. Like your dough could be potent. It just depends on what you make it with. I was watching Family Guy when the police raided. I think that's probably the most introspective song on the whole project like i think that's the one song where he kind of really really talked about i mean he he has lines all throughout the album where he's talking about real stuff i'm not saying he's not but this one it was more direct like he stayed on the topic of like being in the hood going through issues being in the trap house hustling being scared that the police was gonna raid like it, he stayed on topic not talking about women and getting Oral sex and this and that. Like it was it wasn't all over the place. It was solid. One topic. I like that. I rock with it. A track number 15 is Tiptoe featuring A Boogie with the hoodie. I actually heard this song. I'm dag. I forgot he dropped so many singles. He dropped like at least three off this project. Um, I actually heard this the other day. It's dope. I like it. I rock with this joint. Um, they both sound good together. That's a dope record. Last track. Track number 16, War Baby. I was hell in them projects, I survived the storm. Got brothers in the sky, they die for they born. I know the worst conditions make a champion. Type of niggas that arrive to rivals. I'ma make the chopper see like Lada, 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 Lada. The chopper sing like Lada, Lada. <laughs> what a way to end the album now that caught me off guard i didn't see the choir coming in and ending it like that that was beautiful that's beautiful that, damn, that caught me off guard. All right, so now we at the end of the album. Time to give a review based off a of first listen. Remember, it's off a of first listen. Next week, I might not feel the same way. Anyway, um, yo, I ain't gonna lie. This album is dope. It's a, it's a really dope album. I can't even front. Um, top to bottom, I think the production is, is amazing. I think everybody who produced on this album did they thing he had the right beats all the beats seemed to knock um it might have been like one or two that was just cool a little some of them was a little repetitive like ah, it kind of sounds like the other one but they he killed it enough like with his flow he switched the flow enough on certain songs that like it didn't feel like it sounded so similar to something else you know what i mean like it was cool but like i think the production was a one i think I like the like guitar solos on some of the tracks and, and, and like the piano melodies, like the instrumentals used in the beats, like the instruments, excuse me, instruments used in the beats was hard. It kind of gave me like Gunna vibes, you know how Gunna use like somebody play a guitar and then he just throw a hard beat over it and it just, it just flow. He could do the same thing and he's trying to hit notes and play with the, the um, play with his vocals and play with the, the flows and the melodies. It's entertaining. It's entertaining. You know, you got different flows, different voices, different, you know what I mean? It's, it's like different people at different times sometimes. Something like Thug usually do. I kept saying that throughout the project. Like, this remind me of Thug. This remind me of Gunner. This remind me of Lil Dirk. This remind me of, like, he sounds like these people, but like, it's his own style. Like, I know him. He has a distinct voice. Like, you can't mix him up with nobody. And I like that. I rock with it. Um, I think it's a solid album. If I had to say anything negative about it, I would just say, uh, like, maybe one or two tracks I could do without. Like, some of the songs were just like, okay, it's just, it's cool. Nice little bop. But, like, maybe I got to be in a different mood. I will also say some of his lyrics is a little, little corny. You know, sometimes, like, you know, typical bars that everybody didn't use before. It wasn't impressive then. It won't be impressive today. But I don't look at him as a lyricist, like a big lyricist or something. So I don't really hold that against him too much. So it's all good, I guess. If I had to rate it, I would give this album an 8.3 out of 10. I think this is really dope for a first debut album. I think this is his debut. I keep saying that, but like I could be wrong. Y'all, I'm sure y'all gonna correct me anyway. But y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like what's y'all favorite songs? Do y'all agree with my rating on the album? 8.3 out of 10. You disagree? Uh, let me know what else y'all want me to react to. I'm gonna try to get that 
done for y'all sometime this weekend hopefully make sure you subscribe if you didn't already yo we almost had a thousand i don't know by the time you see this video we might be there but we like three or four subscribers away from hitting that thousand and we going up when we get the thousand please don't think we not you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm hyped i'm anxious i'm i'm ready you know what i mean so we might be hitting it by this weekend and it's on and popping from there so thank y'all for watching it's your boy new Aramar. i'm out peace